Hello and welcome to Lot 49. Psychology is the study of the mind and how social, environmental and biological factors influence how people think, feel and act. By understanding its processes, people can alter not only their own habits and feelings, but also those of others. Our populations suffer tremendously from mental health problems, and psychology provides the understanding and tools to examine and make changes to the way people think and behave, and that can be used against us as well as to help us. For some context on my first point, in England every week one in six experiences a common mental health problem, like depression or anxiety, while every year one in four experiences a mental health problem, and over the course of their lives one in five will have suicidal thoughts, one in 14 will self-harm, and one in 15 will actually commit suicide. While thoughts of self-harm and suicide are not mental health conditions, they are often byproducts of them. Things aren't any better across the Atlantic, as over half of all Americans are diagnosed at some point in their life with a mental health disorder. A fifth of Americans will suffer from a mental health problem at some point each year. One fifth of children will suffer from a debilitating mental illness at some point in their childhood, and one twenty fifth of Americans live with a serious mental illness such as major depression, bipolar disorder, or schizophrenia. Worldwide, it is estimated that 350 million people suffer from depression, and the World Health Organization predicts that by 2030 it will be more prevalent than ischemic heart disease and have become the leading cause of worldwide disease burden. An understanding of psychology can help properly diagnose and treat many of these patients and help alleviate them from further suffering. To expand on my second point, as I have talked about, psychology provides the tools to examine and make changes to the way people think and behave. While that understanding is often used to help people, it can also be used to reduce a subject's agency in decision-making by influencing it for the practitioner's gain. The most common mechanisms for this are advertisements and the media. It is no secret that advertisements influence the target demographic in order to change their opinion on a certain product or issue. The design of an advert requires a lot of attention to detail, and is chosen based upon the foundational principles of psychology. Although there are many elements to incorporate, the use of persuasion and authority, colours, memories and emotions, are some of the most common psychological elements used to get people to part with their cash. At first glance this may seem harmless, nevertheless it involves manipulating the recipient's more instinctual impulses rather than their cognitive faculties and can lead to financial troubles for the subjects in the most effective cases. Research suggests that the media influences people through two effects, the private, individual or direct effect, and the social, public or indirect effect. In the individual effect, media information about norms may persuade individuals to accept them, while in the social effect, the information divulged by the media of a norm enhances social coordination. People more easily accept the information as they believe it correlates with the norms of their peers. Anyway, thank you for watching. This video was drawn from articles by Very Well Mind, all about psychology and many more. If you would like to read the pieces for yourself, check them out using the links in the description. The visual sources used can also be found in the credits and down below. All content used is property of its owners and is merely used for the purposes of education, review and reporting as allowed by fair use laws. As with all video channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.